Well, Jean and Mike, this is a close knit community, a small town. A lot of people here know each other. Jim grew up here. They say a lot of people have been grieving Jim and Michelle Butler's death since they happened. That does not change even in spite of today's developments. Now the apprehension comes just days after Clayburg County law enforcement shared a photo of Adam Williams behind the wheel of Jim and Michelle's pickup truck that was captured on surveillance while crossing the border into Mexico. Soon after, authorities announced they were charging Williams with felony theft of the Butler's truck. Authorities said Amanda Novair was the passenger in that truck. Neither Williams nor Novair have been charged in the deaths of the Butler's. Novair has not been charged at all in this case. The Butler's bodies were found on South Padre Island not long after they were reported missing. Tonight, Jim's sister has released a statement saying, quote, we are glad to hear the arrest has been made and await what's next. Close friends tonight are also reacting. I'm happy that they were apprehended. I'm happy that that's over with. Um, still not going to bring Jimmy and Michelle back. No matter what happens, they're not coming back. Whatever happens to him, nobody cares. Nobody cares. He's going to jail. Now, details of the apprehension so far have not been released. Live in Rumney tonight, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.